Hi y'all. Okay, this is going to be <clears throat> a twin flame, twin soul reading for whoever finds it. Whew. Can I just say, <sighs> y'all, okay. We have entered a period where the newly awakened are meeting their twin souls. <sighs> and for those of you who have reached out to me and trusted me with your journeys so far, your twin soul journeys, and the intimate details of your twin soul journeys. I just want to express the deepest gratitude of my heart. Some of you have been with me since the beginning, and we are all in this together. I am not in union with my twin soul. In fact, I just got to the point where I feel like I actually know who my twin soul is. <laughs> it has been a long journey. Um, and, you know, that for me was verified through the twin soul birthmarks. Okay. Um, I, I can talk about this in another video. Um, the twin, the twin soul birthmarks and markings, whatever. But um, it takes a lot to trust someone with your twin soul journey, right? It 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 is a huge honor to be able to work with someone that is on a twin soul journey, okay? Because it is not an easy journey. It is one of the hardest journeys you will ever embark on in your spiritual path, but it doesn't have to be hard. And, you know, so for those of you that have chosen me and have trusted me with the most intimate details of your journeys, I just want to give you a heartfelt thank you and, and show gratitude because now as things are amping up, there's more of you coming in and trusting me with these the deepest aspects of your soul because you know when you are on a twin soul journey your twin will literally um bear witness and 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 bring up the deepest recesses of trauma and pain that you have avoided facing your whole entire journey right and to be able to face those is a huge feat in itself. So you should be incredibly proud of yourself, incredibly proud of yourself. But, you know, to bring another person into this journey and to say, this is what I'm facing, it, this is a huge lesson in trust because you're, you're, ultimately trusting this person to do right by you and by your shadows and it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable and open with someone and to trust them with your journey so it is a huge honor for those of you who have given that honor to me it is an honor to be of service to guide you and to love you through those dark moments and it's an honor also to guide you through those beautiful moments when we have these breakthroughs and we experience these moments of bliss and love. And it's just such an honor to share these moments with all of you. <laughs> and, you know, just to give you an idea of how I find my clients, like they, I don't find them, like they find me. It's strange and crazy. Like, I will give you an example of I was at my job, um, my new job at the crystal shop, and this these three beautiful ladies came in, and they were talking, and 
the mother, you know, um, of, of one of the women that was in there, you know, comes up. I think it was like a mother, a daughter, and like a, a grandmother, right? So it was three beautiful generations, right? And they came up and they said, do you offer any other services here, like tarot readings or anything? And, you know, my boss, her name is Sherry. She goes, yeah, we do have a tarot reader here. And um, she, you're, you're, she's right here, you know. And and the, the mother steps up and says, um, well, there's something special about my daughter. And I said, of course, you know, so special about all of us. And she goes, no. I'm, I'm not going to tell you and hopefully you'll be able to pick up on it, right? And so, and then she didn't say anything after that and she sort of walked away. And then I was talking to the daughter and I was just looking at her and I said, all of a sudden out of nowhere, like I was just like, she goes, she said something about, you know, maybe I'll, I will come in and get a reading from you. And I said, okay. And then as I was, talking a little bit further to the mom and I, I looked at the mom and I go, you know, there is something special about your daughter. And I said, um, and if she's on the same journey that I am, then I'm sorry. <laughs> and I kind of giggled like that. And she looked me dead in the eye. The mom did and said, how did you know that she is on a journey? And she goes, the twin soul journey like that. Like she kind of went like, and I went, and I didn't say anything and I said, well, I'll just say if she is, it's a very difficult journey. And, you know, <laughs> we all seem to find each other out here in the wild. And the daughter looked me in the eye and I could just feel this incredible sense of wonder and almost this like sadness, right? And she looked me dead in the eye and she goes, it isn't easy, is it? And I said, no, you're not alone. And those type of things happen to me all the time. And the mom was like, oh, she called me up at three in the morning and she was crying and all this stuff. And, and she's like, you know, and I don't understand it. And I was like, yeah, it's hard to understand if you're not actually on the journey yourself. And just those type of synchronicities happen to me on a daily basis. Just twi It's like all of a sudden... I don't know what it is or something that's activated after the eclipse and just twin souls are just drawn into me on a daily basis. Uh, another, I had a recently new client who is a masculine and he was such a beautiful soul, right? Um, I'm not going to mention his name because, you know, I have client confidentiality, but he had this beautiful Russian name and he comes in and he's just like walks up to me and says, I heard you were one of the best twin soul readers around. And I went, you did? <laughs> I was literally like, what? <laughs> Such an honor to hear that, right? But I'm like, how? <laughs> I'm going to get emotional. I'm, I might cry. I'm like, how? Right? How? Like, so the universe is beautiful and amazing and incredible and magical and for these people to come up and say hey I'm on this journey and I want your help and to just come by either word of mouth or you know um I mean he literally said he heard this from someone like word of mouth so it's, it's just incredible right and for him to say I, I don't know if I believe in the twin soul journey but I've always felt there was something there and I want to look into it and sure enough pulled those cards and boom the twin flame card came out immediately and I said you feel like this because you are a twin soul there's no accidents you weren't drawn to me you were drawn to me for a reason there are no accidents you guys right and I'm sorry I know I'm doing a lot of talking but I just want to give you an example of like how beautiful and magical the, the universe is when you are aligned with your soul path and when you find your purpose and how these wonderful, magical miracles just unfold every day. You know, when people come to me for general reads and boom, twin flame stuff will show up and I'll go, 
and I'll start telling him like, I don't know, this is going to sound crazy. I don't know if you've heard of this, but there's something called a twin soul and they go, oh my God, I had an inkling that about this person and I didn't want to tell you because I didn't know if you were going to pick up on it. And I just wanted to come for like a general reading, not love, but all of a sudden, yes, like th this is, this is really what was in my heart and I just didn't tell you. And it's like, boom. There it is. It, this happens to me so often. And it's like, and then they go, this is, this is where I'm at in my journey. And I go, I understand. I do because this is my calling. This is my sole purpose. I am a twin flame, you know, reader, coach, whatever you want to call me, teacher. I walk the path with twin souls daily. Okay. And their journey is mine. And I always tell him, you know, we're in this together. I'm not in union with my twin soul. So we're in this together, right? I am in separation from my twin soul. So I always say we're in this together. Like, you are not alone. Even the the coach or the teacher is learning as you're learning. So we're in this together, right? Um, all right. So let's just dive in, you guys. I just, I had to share that because it's just incredible. All right, so for those of you who are tuned in, what do we need to know about, about our twin soul journey at this time? And I need to shut my phone off. I don't have a lot of battery on my phone because I just did a reading for a client. And by the way, I'm sorry. I know I haven't been really active here on my channel, but you guys, I have been literally swamped with life and, you know, website readings, in-person readings, like swamped. These new wave of twin souls, twin flames, they, oh, <laughs> they have kept me, they're keeping me busy, <laughs> really. I'm so grateful and blessed. And um, I'm actually, I have so many surprises for you guys, so stay tuned. I'm going to be giving, doing a giveaway soon because I just want to show my gratitude and give back because you guys have blessed my life in ways, and the universe has blessed my life in ways that are just immeasurable right now. So why is that one? Okay, so let's dive in. I don't know who's tuning in, but let's tap into the energy of the twin souls and what is going on right now on our journeys. I'm going to go ahead and ask that Archangel Michael be here to guide this sacred space. I have cleansed my energy. I just took a shower when I did my client's read and I cleansed my space as well. So you guys know, I take my readings very seriously. I do a lot of prep work. I will cleanse this whole entire space and myself um, always, okay? With every read. Oof. I'm going to go ahead and get some cards out and then just start reading them. The feminines right now are, are fucking on fire. They're on fire. They're, they've used their intuition to create so much amazing, beautiful things for themselves. They're stepping into a period of security and bliss and love and so much abundance that they're giving they're giving stuff away, which is ironic because I was just saying that I was going to start giving, I was going to do a giveaway and give some stuff away because I have been so blessed. I am so grateful because I have been blessed. This, this year has been incredible, incredible with blessings and love and just abundance. And I have so much gratitude in my heart for that and I feel like a lot of the feminines are in this this energy right now all right um but it wasn't easy they we came out of the cold and, and out of the 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 pain and the suffering and we it just it didn't happen overnight right everyone thinks it just came so easily like one day you just were aligned and everything was falling into place and that's not how it was we had a lot of shadows to face and a lot of pain to cover and to face, right? 
to get here to the sun, right? We went through this poverty, suffering, abandoned by everyone that we loved to get here. Okay. Right. And now we're in this energy of, you know, we have created so much abundance for ourselves using our intuition, our heart space. Right. And now we have energy and love and money to give back. But it wasn't easy. She didn't stumble into it overnight. She's not lucky. She's blessed, but she's not lucky. She worked really hard to get where she is, right? The feminines. Okay. So they showed us the feminine energy. What else do we need to see now? Get two cards, and then we're going to pop into the masculine energy and see what's going on with them. Okay. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> we have the hair of ants and the four of cups. So even though the feminine has created this <laughs> these this beautiful sort of a legacy and contentment for herself, there is this energy of still feeling like there's something missing, and that is the connection with her twin soul. You know, it's this energy of like, what is going on? Where is the rest of my blessing, right? Yes, I'm blessed, but where is, where is my love? Where is my love? All right, I'm going to put all these cards back. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap into the masculines. What is it that the masculines are dealing with at this time? 1717 on my phone. What is the masculine at this time? I love how the light looks like a little halo. Ooh, the masculines are working hard too. Woo! They're making those skrillas. The masculines are are seizing the new opportunities they are oh my god but they are not they have not stopped thinking about those feminines at all the reason they are working so hard is not just because they want to create wealth for themselves but because that feminine is right there look she's the driving force for them Look, they're working hard. They're seizing every every opportunity to create physical wealth on this plane. But it's because that feminine is driving them. She is the driving force for them. Two more cards and we're moving on. Sir. See? Nonstop. The Empress. Queen of Wands. Why are they working so hard for this? For the feminines? One more card, please. Oh, look at that fucking beautiful energy look the masculines are working super hard right now working super hard seizing every opportunity to create stability and wealth because this divine feminine has been the driving force behind everything he's trying to create something substantial to offer a commitment stability um success right the four of wands is about marriage commitment stability a home um all of those things that you know a committed relationship will bring in you know 
when you are dedicated to the relationship. Okay. So the masculine is not, um, he's not shutting you out. He's working to create something substantial because he doesn't want to come in empty handed. All right. I'm going to pull from this little tarot of magic. And hopefully we don't see any boobies or weenies. I'll just have to cover it up. What else do we need to know, Spirit? <laughs> um, there is a certain energy of like playfulness, right? Coming through. Um, we, again, we have the Four of Wands. So this mask, your masculine is very often fantasizing about you. The feminine is as well. We also have transformation. So both of the twins, all you guys are going through huge transformations. Again, like there was the, the transformations comes in waves, right? The transformations, I'll say it again. The transformations comes in waves. Okay. They're always... We are always transforming and reinventing ourselves, especially in a twin flame journey. You're facing all of your shadows at any given moment. There's something new to face. Just when you think you've faced one shadow, another one comes up, right? I'll tell you what, though. Both parties are doing a lot of fantasizing sexually. Can I say that? Um, there's a lot of, in all of the cards, I don't know how much of these I can show, but in all of the cards, the masculine and the feminine are together, right? Look. Boom. Um, trying to keep this PG-13. Boom. Look at that. So the masculine is, is getting to a point where they are getting fed up with the old paradigms and the things that have been keeping them back and holding them back from these unions, right? They are starting to finally believe in the magic of the union, whereas the feminine has already been believing in the magic of the union, okay? We're going to get actually one more card from here. We're going to move on. The Hanged Man. Yes. So there's been a significant pause for most of the twins, right? There has been a significant pause. Look, we have the Hanged Man, which is no movement, right? And, but it's it happened for a reason. The twins had to be in separation so that they could prepare for being the best versions version of themselves before they could get together nothing is in vain right and look the the feminine while she's in this beautiful energy the masculine is standing back and watching he's watching her glow he's watching her create you know and in the meantime in the background he is doing his own thing to create something for himself just as she is Okay, you guys are, you know, you're on the same energy frequency, meaning you're both in this period of creating something for yourselves. So that when you both come into union together, you have your own things, right? Your own legacies. Woo! Okay, each counterpart right now is using their intuition very strongly the signs the symbols the synchronicities everything is ramping up the feminine in particular is using her intuition on a daily basis so the masculines may have been in this energy of like where they didn't know what they wanted they thought they had different options right like because this is the card that came out so I feel like 
for some of you, you know, your masculine may have been like, oh, they didn't, they may not even have believed in twin souls. They may have felt like they had all these options and they didn't want to settle down. And then all of a sudden you come in and they're shooketh, right? They're like, what the hell is going on here? I'm a free bird. I'm not to be tied down to this, this beauty, but they realize with you that there's something different. They realize they can be free. They can be themselves. And now all of a sudden there's this energy of like I, where I didn't want to be in a committed relationship. And now all of a sudden they're questioning all of that. They're like, I thought I, I wanted to be alone, a, a, a lone wolf, right? Yeah, see, they don't want to be single anymore. <laughs> oh, gosh. For some of you, uh, I feel like a lot of you, the Twin Souls, you guys are uh, quite a few miles away from each other. This is a significant distance. If it's not physical distance, it's, you know, distance um, separation wise. But for a lot of you, it will be distance. Like you guys live states away from each other. Okay. Because we have the travel card. We have change. So something shifted in the connection and it's changed in a way. And now Look, this is what shifted. The universe said, bitch. <laughs> the universe said, bitch. They shifted everything into high gear because they were like, mm, okay, time for us to intervene. If you don't follow the soul of your path, the universe will rip the rug out from underneath you until you are aligned with what you're supposed to be doing. And for a lot of the masculines, that's what had to happen. They had to have their soul shook it. A lot of you feminines too. This isn't about gender. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some soul messages from your person. And we are going to conclude this reading. I hope this has helped some of the twin souls that are in separation right now. Um, it's not an easy path, but we're here. We're happy. We're aligned. We're focused. I want to give you the world. My dearest friend, if you don't mind, I'd like to join you by your side. Jack Skeleton, the night before Christmas. So for some of you, you're already friends with your person. You guys started out as friends or you are friends and, you know, maybe they want to take it to the next level, but they haven't for some reason or another. They feel it just like you do. They want to give you the world and maybe that's why they held back. Maybe they knew they weren't ready. <clears throat> when they, ooh, my throat chakra. See, these masculines want to speak up. They just, whew. When they ask me what I like the best, I'll tell them it was you. City of Angels. I love that. And so see, they, your person, they already know that you are, um, the best thing that's ever happened to them, right? They know that. And, you know, something held them back, whether it was fear, childhood trauma. Um, there's lots of reasons that, you know, a person could be held back from speaking their truth. But, you know, they're, they're literally saying, the masculine is saying, when they ask me what I like the best, I'll tell them it was you. I wish you could hold me right now. Whether this is the feminine or the masculine, it doesn't matter.
you no, know, they they want that connection. They want to be in your arms. They want to hold you in their arms. They want to feel your heartbeat. These are not, you know, this is not a lot to ask for, right? It's not. You can have all these things. You just have to be patient. Claim your union. We've had millions of missions together. And you're going to have a million more. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, though. It looks like the feminine's fed up. There is the feminine. Her back is to him. He's watching her. And now she's like, I'm done. <laughs> your light leaves me in awe. All right. Two more cards and we're going to be done with this. I can't wait to make love with you. I told you there was a lot of sexual tension coming through. All of those cards had the masculine and the feminine together. The masculine's have been doing a lot of fantasizing about the feminines recently. They see your lights. I feel like giving up on you. See, the feminine is like, she's feeling like she wants to give up, right? Those are, oh God. Hold on one second. There is, oh my gosh. There's all females on this card. It's a feminine energy. I feel like giving up on you. Look, there's all females on there. You don't believe me? Look. Female, 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 female. It's not about gender. It's about the energy. It's the feminines. They're feeling fed up. All right. Final card. Lemurian past lives. So... I hope this reading resonated with someone. I love you all so much.